Hey scholars, good to be back with you. This is another in a series of videos about mathematics. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about algebra and what it's good for. Now, many of us have taken an algebra class or are going to, maybe you're in one now. What you'll find out, if you haven't already, is that the basic operations aren't that hard. With a little bit of practice and some diligence, most of us can learn the basic mechanics. However, a lot of times that experience leaves us kind of flat. We can do it, but there's not a real good understanding of why we should do this or what benefit that gives us. Too often these math classes are just sort of a hurdle we have to clear in order to get to the end of a degree or a diploma or something. Let's see if we can fix that today. I'm going to skip all the mathematical formalities and I get it down to I think there's basically two reasons you need to learn algebra. Number one is that it lets you solve for a number you didn't already know. And number two, it's probably your first introduction to functions. It's your first introduction to being able to write down a math mathematical expression that you can then draw a picture of. Algebra is one of the first times you learn to take uh, numbers and turn them into pictures. Human beings are mostly pretty visual, so we do real well with pictures, even when we're struggling with the, the mathematical expressions that create them. So if we can turn math into pictures, that's pretty powerful. Before we get too much farther along, let's talk about the difference between algebra and arithmetic. Now, arithmetic is just working forward through a calculation. So if I want to write down some expression that's arithmetical, just arithmetic, you know, I can write down 5 over 3 times 9 plus 4 equals something. Now, I know what all those are. I'm just going to pound this out on a calculator. Well, I can divide through by 3 here. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4. Better make 19. All right. So there's, there's nothing unknown here. This is just going through the order of operations and calculating. Algebra. Oops, get my, get my head out of your way here. Algebra is where you get to uh, solve for something you didn't know before. Now that's something that we don't know in the equation. We have to represent it with a, a character of some kind. Traditionally, we just use a letter, okay, most of the time x. Um, just by tradition, you could do anything. You could use a smiley face emoji if you wanted. Um, let's just stick with x for now. So if I say 5x over 3 uh, plus I don't know, 4 equals 0, almost the same numbers here. I don't know what x is now. There's, a, there's this number called x. I don't know what x is. So I'm just going to put it, I'm going to just put x in there and I'll solve for it later. All right, well, let's solve for it. Subtract 4 from both sides. Plus minus 4. Multiply through by 3. 5x is now minus 12. And let's see, x is now minus 12 over 5. Okay, now I know what x is. I didn't before, now I do. I could write down a mathematical expression that included something I didn't know, and then I could actually solve for that thing I didn't know. If you apply this correctly, this is really powerful. All right, let's go to now the second reason for using algebra. And that's that we can write down functions and we can draw pictures. Okay, well, what would that look like? f of x is 3x plus 2. This is a mathematical expression. It's called a function. And a function is just a relationship between variables. I can push values of x into the equation and I can get values of f of x out of the equation. So if I draw this now, I can select values of x and I can plot f of x on rectangular coordinates. These are also called Cartesian coordinates because Rene Descartes, the mathematician and philosopher, was one of the first people to suggest that you could, if you had two variables, you could plot them in perpendicular directions on a piece of paper and you could turn this into a picture. Re the realization that this and this, that basically algebra and geometry or algebra and trigonometry, were the same thing? That's a big idea. That's a very big idea. Well, let's say 
that's 0. Well, if I put x equals 0 in, I get 2. So let's call that 2. If I put x equals 1, okay, 3x at plus time, or 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, that's 5. So 4, 6, let's see, 4, 6, so 5 should be about there. There. Now, I know this is a straight line. That's the equation for a straight line. The line equation you see in, in the books all the time, the thing you're encouraged to memorize is y equals mx plus b. Well, this is the location in the vertical direction. That's the location in the horizontal direction. Well, there it is. So, there's my function. This and this are the same thing. Now that I can draw a picture, I can just look at this plot and I can figure out what f is for values of x I haven't really calculated yet. This is very powerful. Okay, the utility of this hinges on one big thing. And this, the mathematicians don't always talk about this one big thing. The one big thing is this only works, this is only of any value, if you're describing some product, some process, something you want to know mathematically. Now, I've had students come to me, sometimes older students, and have said, I don't know why I'm learning this. I've been at this a long time. I've never used anything more than arithmetic to design or build or improve anything ever. Well, I guess if your view of the world is that simple and you're absolutely determined to keep it that simple, well, you can get away with just arithmetic. If you think that's all you need, turn this video off. Go watch kitten videos. Go build something. Go do something you like. Don't, don't bother with this. Now, you better hope your competitors have decided to limit themselves to that same simple view of the world, and they're not going to try to use any mathematics to improve their products or their processes. I don't know if that's a great idea. So there are a couple of reasons to learn mathematics, and more specifically to learn this. One is that it teaches you to think in a logical, rigorous way, and that way of thinking is going to help you almost no matter what you do. Now, the other more practical one is that most of us are going to be part of some organization, a business, a university, a government organization, something. And any complicated organization is going to use mathematics to describe their products and their processes. If you become conversant in those ideas, if you learn to work to think in terms of those ideas, you become more valuable in that organization and you can rise in that organization. Even that, if that organization is just you, you're going to be more effective in your business. So I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.